You may think you know all the great movie detectives. Philip Marlowe. I'm a private dick on a case. Sherlock Holmes. Looks like murder. Not necessarily, Watson. But in the world of film restoration, this is the man who cracks the cases. These are nitrate films that uh, we have in this special insulated vault. His name is Bob Gitt, preservation expert at the UCLA Film and Television Archive. In Hollywood, nobody knows more about finding missing films, preserving, and restoring them. I've always enjoyed movies. I've enjoyed handling them, seeing them, projecting them, preserving them. He's tracked down rare pieces of film in studio vaults, archives, and private collections all over the world. Really quite a lot of crackles and clicks in this one, aren't there? Yeah. He knows every trick of the trade, how to use computers to clean up movie soundtracks, and to erase scratches and dirt from the picture. How to copy a frame at a time, films on the verge of extinction. I think it's a great privilege to work in these films. And the films he's worked on. John Ford's fading masterpiece, The Quiet Man. Bob Gitt and his UCLA colleagues saved it from oblivion. Well, what happened to Godfrey? I'm Godfrey. The classic screwball comedy, My Man Godfrey. Gitt's team put it back in focus. Becky Sharp, the first modern Technicolor feature. Bob Gitt restored it, too. Bob is known worldwide. He's, uh, he's known in Europe, he's known all across the country, in Canada. Uh, you know, in my mind, he's a genius. The detective work involved in restoring a full-length feature can be mind-boggling. I'm David Browning, reporting from Hollywood for American Movie Classics. For instance, let's say the UCLA Film Archive has a pretty good copy of the film, all except for Reel 5, which unfortunately is missing. So, they get the studio's best copy of the film. But the sound on Roll 5 is terrible. Can't use this. They get another Reel 5 from a European archive, but this one is so scratched and chewed up, it looks like it's been through a trash compactor. So, step one in any restoration involves figuring out the pieces. Here, Git joins experts from 20th Century Fox and the Motion Picture Academy, starting work on a restoration of John Ford's How Green Was My Valley. The UCLA print has got a lot more wear and tear than the Academy print. They compare notes on ways to stitch together scenes from various copies of the film. It sounds like a jigsaw puzzle, is what it sounds like. A big one. A big one. <laughs> That's true. What follows is months and months of lab work, computer work, library research, checking scripts and production notes, until finally, it's showtime. Joan of Arc with Ingrid Bergman, another Git restoration. This one, a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. A film that was cut down, chopped up, relentlessly re-edited over the years. The premiere of the restored version attracted a new generation of Hollywood stars. I think a lot of younger people today aren't even familiar with these classic movies. I wonder how many young people even know who Ingrid Bergman is. So I think it's really great that they're reissuing so many of these films. But for every film saved, many others are lost. This one, a silent called The Old Sailor's Story. What it looked like, we'll never know. It's a race against time. The films are deteriorating faster than the archives uh, are able to, to quite uh, cope with. So, the archive detectives press on, saving rare footage of Rudolph Valentino, of John Barrymore, of Mabel Norman, of Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> To learn more about how the archives preserve and restore films, do some detective work of your own by logging on to American Movie Classics website at amctv.com. And by the way, Philip Marlowe and Sherlock Holmes were both restored by Bob Gitt, just one detective helping out another. For AMC, I'm David Browning, reporting from Hollywood. <laughs>